What's up guys, it's Josh from Cupid Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys Ubuntu 20.04. So as I stated in the intro, I wanted to do a quick review just showing you guys Ubuntu 20.04, which is the latest LTS version of Ubuntu. Uh, LTS simply stands for long term support. And this release will be updated and maintained until April 2025, which is five years. That's the standard amount of time for the LTS It's normally five years. So I won't be going through the installation. I've done plenty of installation videos uh, and the way I install things is on a virtual machine. Just so you guys can get an understanding of how to actually use the OS uh, once you install it on your system. Because my whole goal is to try to get people, you know, using Linux and getting away from Windows. Uh, because Linux, in my opinion, is a way better operating system. You have more freedom and all that good stuff. So let's get started on the review. Okay, so there are a lot of uh, Linux YouTubers out there that have already done a review and they've done it on the standard Ubuntu. I just wanted to go down and do my make my video a little bit different by showing you guys the Zubuntu version, which is a different flavor of Ubuntu, but it still has the core 20.04 uh, install. It just has a different face on top of it, which is XFCE which is a desktop that I think is one of the best out of all the different desktops that are out there. So just to talk about the installation, uh, when you install Ubuntu, this is one of the changes that has been added in this release. And it basically adds uh, features for you to use ZFS. And I won't go into too many details on ZFS. It's pretty much a better file system than ext4 but it's good to see they're in, they incorporating this into the latest release but that's really the only difference in the installation the installation process is very simple you just put the iso into the system boot up into the iso you can actually try uh ubuntu before you install it and then once it boots up into the live iso you can run the installer from there or you can run the installer before you even boot up the live uh, iso and just follow the steps it's pretty simple the only difference is like i stated zfs is added when you get to the portion where you set up the drives for the system so that's why i didn't want to include it in this video okay so the first thing let me show you guys that i am running uh, Ubuntu 20.04 and actually let's zoom in on the terminal right fast so you guys can see um, so let me run uname dash a and as you can see I'm running Linux and it's Zubuntu which is that flavor of Ubuntu but 20 so that lets you know that I'm running it. Uh, so let me go down and exit this out. We don't need to look at this anymore. I'm going to stick to the desktop and how to actually use it. So I, I don't want to make it too complicated. I want it. I want people to understand that it's it's very simple switching to Linux. That's my whole purpose for showing this. Uh, so you guys can switch to Linux and see how. Yeah, I can show you guys how simple it is to actually run the operating system. But let's start off by going into the task manager just to show you guys the specs and not really the specs because this is running on a virtual machine. Uh, I have two cores assigned to this virtual machine, but I just wanted to show you uh, one of the ways you can actually look at your system. Uh, just look at the tasks, look at the actual programs that are running in the background. This is the command you or this is the program you want to open up. This will show you the CPU usage as well as memory usage. Uh, and you can also, you know, run a few commands in the in the command line like htop, which I'm 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 not sure if htop is installed by default, but top I know for sure is installed because it's included in all distributions. But um, this thing has two CPUs and just to show you guys this, or this is where XLCE shines. Uh, in my opinion, because I have two gigs of memory assigned to this system and just running the system idle, you can see it's only using 22% of the two gigs. So what's that? 
So about 400 megabytes is being used just by the operating system running idle. And I really like to push people to XFCE because it's less resource intensive. Now, once you start opening up certain programs or you open up like GIMP and a few other programs, but just think about it. If the system just idle running the desktop environment is very low versus the GNOME version, which uses a, a little bit more memory. It actually uses a little bit more than than the, the last couple of releases. XFCE really shines when it comes to memory usage, in my opinion. And that's just what I've seen over the course of using XFC for a couple of years now. So that's why I always recommend it. But anyway, this kind of shows you just what I got going on. It's got like a 139 processes running. This is all default. I installed the additional packages when I went through the installation of Zubuntu. So it's all default. It's no added packages other than those additional packages that it installs during the installer so so that gives you an idea of how the system actually runs uh based on what i've heard ubuntu 20 is running a whole lot faster it's supposed to be a little bit more snappier you know uh things are supposed to move a little better so i really recommend as a new user you know hopping in and just using the latest release uh even though you might run into a few bugs it's it normally takes a while for them to hash, well not a while, but a couple days for them to hash out all the bugs that may pop up when you first install. But other than that, uh, Zubuntu or Ubuntu is a very stable release. So let me go on and close this out. And the next thing I want to show you guys is actually the software uh, center. And they just call it software in uh, Zubuntu, I can't remember if it's different in GNOME or if it says like Software Center or whatever, but it's just called Software in XFCE. And pretty much Zubuntu, Ubuntu, uh, Kubuntu, or however you say the KDE version, it all uses the same software, it all connects to the same repositories and all that good stuff. So all the, the same software you get on regular Ubuntu, you can get in Zubuntu. It's just a different desktop. And I just want to make sure people understand that, that it's really no difference other than the desktop environment. So just to show you, it's the standard software installer. It's just one thing about it is they incorporated a lot more snap packages in the software center, but there are there is still access to all the dev packages that you normally see in all other releases. So it didn't get rid of, you know, the normal dev packages. It's just whatever is snapped. They try to put that in front of you first, but you still have that option to install the dev packages and you can still use the command line, you know, sudo apt install. Or you can, you know, do the snaps if you want to use snaps. But just show you guys same, same old software, um, you know, updates to it, obviously, um, newer software. But you can install all, all this software quickly from the software center. Let's look at something in here. Let's look up the Deepin terminal. Just to show you guys that it works the same. And here we go. So the deep in terminal, we can actually install that. And the way you install it, it has a rating system. And I know you guys, if you've used Linux before, do you know, understand they have a rating system on the apps. It's kind of like any other app store, kind of like on Android on your phone. You know, they tried to make this thing similar to that. You can go to the website, check it out. You can read the reviews. And the reason I wanted to pull up deep in terminal is because it shows you that not all the applications or snap packages, there are still dev packages in here. And you'll you'll see it by the source. It says Ubuntu focus focal universe. So that's a, a regular dev package. And you can install it, you know, on your system just like any other any other package. It's not a snap package. So I just wanted to let people know that, you know, you, you still have access to these dev packages. But a lot of these um newer packages and packages that have been updated or whatever they created snaps for them uh you can install them using that which in my opinion i've never really liked the whole snap thing but i'm starting to come around to it once i kind of understand how it actually works uh so it's not all bad it's just a new way of installing packages in my opinion 
but that's pretty much it on just the new software I wanted to show you guys but you can go in here this will show you the installed software and I just wanted to show you this so you guys can kind of see the default applications that are installed when you install the ISO so they have a lot of cool packages on here that's already installed uh, and this is all based on XFCE so if you install the GNOME version it may have different packages in here you may see different packages that are installed by default but this is what's installed uh, by default under XFCE and then in order to update the system so you don't have to go to the command line and type sudo app update and upgrade you can just click here and this will actually check for updates uh, automatically for you uh, you can refresh it just by doing that it'll say it's looking for new updates this could take a little while and then if it finds any updates then it'll let you know and pop up there and you can install them right there so I just hit stop on it because I'm pretty sure it's up to date I just checked it before I started this video so that's pretty much it on the software center just to show you guys one more thing before I move on uh, if you click on here this will take you into the preferences of the actual software center so you can make changes in here if you need to and it's just some more information so if you want to look into this you can look into this and look at all the options and check it out for yourself but that's it on the software okay and the, and the next thing I wanted to tell, show you guys is the actual desktop so if we go here uh, the desktop environment like I said, I'm using XFCE and the version that comes with uh, 20.04 is version 4.14. Uh, so that's the XFCE desktop environment and just a little information about it right here. Uh, so if you're interested in checking out XFCE, it's, it says right here, XFCE is a collection of programs that together provide a full featured desktop environment. The following programs are part of the XFCE core. And this goes to, you know, all the things that are included in XFCE4. So, that's all I wanted to show you guys there. And now to the fun part. The next thing I wanted to show you guys was how to actually modify the system if you need to. And this is one thing I really enjoy about XFCE. You know, you can edit pretty much anything. Uh, and so if we go in here into settings and if we scroll down to and actually I apologize it's under I can't find it hold up it's under I just go to all applications but I'm looking for the system or the settings manager there we go settings manager that's what I was looking for so this application basically puts together all the other applications that allows you to make all the settings for the XFCE desktop. So you, you, you want to find that first. Uh, you can also open up these, these applications separately because they're all listed under here. If you go like into settings, it, as you can see, it's pretty much the same like about me, but it categorizes it, it categorizes it in here. So about me, uh, accessibility that's under system you know what I'm saying so all these settings you can go directly to them or you can open up the system manager and or settings manager and that'll bring it all up to you and you can go through and look at everything from here so you got your about me just like before uh, appearance this is where you go in to modify the appearance and just to play around with it uh, they, they're using the gray bird theme, but you can obviously install more themes or styles, uh, on the system. Uh, I'm not going to really mess with too much. They have, uh, icon packs, so you can go through here and look at them. I really like that elementary XFCE Dorker, uh, icon theme. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can check out, you know, other themes and install them. You can go to XFCE look and install whatever you're trying to look for. Um, and then you, you, you can modify the fonts. Uh, it's just a slew of settings you could change as far as the appearance when it comes to XFCE. 
and then I'm not going to go through each one of these applications, but this is pretty much where you would go to to tweak the desktop environment, make it look however you want to. And if we scroll down, I just wanted to show you guys, this is the actual greeter. They use Light DM, the GTK Plus uh, greeter. Uh, so you can go in here and actually modify the greeter. Oh yeah, and since I showed you the appearance, I wanted to go down and show you guys how to set up the desktop however you want to you know you can change the wallpapers like they got some pretty cool new wallpapers in here that i haven't seen before uh i really like that one or let's see this one as well that's pretty cool uh but yeah you can go through and and play around with this but it has most of most releases they come with some new wallpapers just to make it you know look pretty cool and then here are some more menu options as well as icon options. Uh, you can set up your desktop however you want it to look. But that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys as far as the settings manager. Uh, you can go through here and mess up, mess with some of this stuff uh, and modify the desktop or modify pretty much anything in here and make changes to your liking. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was kind of a quick review. I just wanted to show you guys uh, the new Ubuntu 20.04. I look forward to reading your comments down below. As I stated before, I like reading comments, comment back to you guys, uh, and just let me know your experience when installing uh, Ubuntu, either using a GNOME desktop or the XFCE desktop or KDE, whatever desktop environment you would like to try out. Just let me know how it goes or whatever. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, keep it techie.